I'm just a city kid, so like, what do I know about Drake's Passage? In the body of water between Ushuaia and the tip of the Antarctic Peninsula, that is where the Atlantic Ocean and the Pacific Ocean meet. I don't know if that alone would be sufficient to make it as choppy as it is, or whether there are other prevailing climactic circumstances, but, oh my gosh, you see the horizon do this. And you say, well, why is the horizon doing that? No, the boat is doing that. And yeah, so I didn't do much eating during that time. In fact, plates would slide off of the tables. So there's a period of time there where everybody's basically on lockdown to get through Drake's Passage. By the way, our ship is relatively modern. Just in the last five years, it's been put on the water. It made me wonder, the explorers from the 19th century, 18th century, when they hit storms, what would that be like? If that kind of turbulence was doing that to our modern ship, I can't imagine what it did to any of those ancient ships that sailed the open seas. 